have learned about the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. They're the most important colors, remember that. We've also learned that the primary colors create the secondary colors, <clears throat> purple, green, and orange. And there are second group of colors because the primary colors, mixing them together, creates our secondary. Now, last um, week, we learned about the warm colors, the things that are warm in the world. And we learned that there are cool colors. Doesn't mean cool dude, it means cool as in colder things. Well, today, um, we are going to take our color wheels that we made last week, and we're gonna learn about something called complementary colors. Here we go. A complement is not the same as complementary colors. A compliment is something that you say nice to someone. Hey, way to go, good work, great job. So when you're giving someone a compliment, it means you're giving them praise and you are awesome. The word complimentary, now that looks the same as what we're talking about, but it's not. This word means free. And we're not talking about the word free when it comes to colors today. So complementary colors, what are they exactly? Well, let's take a look at this color wheel. Notice green at the top and red at the bottom. Red and green are opposite on this color wheel and that makes them complementary colors. Just the same as you see blue and orange are opposite and then if you see yellow and purple, they are all opposites on the color wheel. And anything opposite one another is a complementary color, which means they complement one another quite well. Our first pair of complementary colors is red and green. Our second pair of complementary colors are purple and gold. Our last set of complementary colors are blue and orange. Wasn't so hard, was it? We learned today that on the color wheel that you see here, the opposites are complementary, which means they go good together. They look good together. So like when I'm putting on my outfit in the morning, I want to match. I want to complement myself and I want to look okay, right? Before I go out of the house. And so same with the colors. They like to match one another and they like to look good as well. It makes one another stand out. For example, purple and yellow, they go good together and red and green, they go well together. Same with blue and orange, they go well together. And I like to call them my little families. For example, this is a family, even though red looks kind of cranky, I'm not sure why red looks so cranky, but we're just gonna deal with it, okay? They are complementary colors, they go good together. So my red and green, they are a nice little family portrait like you see here. Purple and yellow are their nice little family. They are a complementary set. And a, we have our purple, purple, our blue and orange, and they fit together as well. I would like to say the Denver Broncos, they got it right because their, their team colors, they're complementary colors. Same with whoever came up with Christmas colors, right? So we're gonna create a piece of art today that has to do with using complementary colors. And artists, they love to pair complementary colors together when they are creating. So next up, here are the materials that you need to be successful for our lesson today. The materials that you need to create our complementary color art project are 
white paper, a pencil, a black marker, crayons or markers in the following colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Go gather your things. Today, our art project is going to honor this artist you see here. His name is Keith Herring, and he was famous for his creations in drawings and paintings and sculptures, as well as murals in silhouettes or outlines of people. You can see some of his pictures. They always involve bold colors outlined in black, and they just show happiness and love. And so today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be creating some outlines, but we're going to do them in complementary colors. Here we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is you need to take your paper and we're going to fold it two times. And so when you're done folding it, you should have four rectangles. And so the first thing I would do, fold it one time, fold it a second time, and then open up your paper. And our paper is going to go vertical today. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to take our pencil and we're going to sketch out some of those silhouettes or outlines of people like we saw that Keith Haring did. And so I'm going to show you what they're going to look like first. Okay. And then I'm going to walk you through how to, to sketch these out. And I want you to know that you probably will end up with arms or legs that are um, either longer than you want or bigger or smaller than you want. And you can do surgery after we're done drawing today. Um, if you want to change it and let's say you wanted to do all of them in this format, you can totally do that. Or you can do them all this one, or you can do one of each like I did. All right. We are going to start in this upper left hand corner. And in each section, we're going to draw the circle near the top for the head. OK, and I'm just going to go ahead and sketch out my circles. You might want to find something if you're a perfectionist to um, to trace your circles if you want to. I'm going to I like to just go for it. I'm not going to try to make them perfect. All right. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we are going to erase this bottom part of our circle. And I am going to do it. I'm going to outline it with a black so you guys can see it here. So here's what we're looking for is something like that for each one. All right. So go ahead and do a little erase here for each one. And then we'll be ready to draw the rest of our, the bodies. Get those eraser marks off. Fantastic. Here we go. So um, the next one, this one we're going to do, we're going to start by kind of going out ways. And that's going to be the arms. Okay. And then I'm going to do the arm on the underside here. Okay. And I'm going to, the hands, they're not really hands. They almost look like kind of like oven mitts or like club, club hands, but that's okay. And we're going to go down for the body. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to go out and we're going to do a leg. And then we're going to go down and we're going to make this guy look like he's walking this way. And so we're going to do his other foot going this way. It doesn't mean his feet are backwards. And we have our first person. Let's move over to this guy. This one's going to have arms going up like, yay. So I'm going to go up on each side. If you cross over to the other section, that's OK. We are going to make the other side of the arms, do our little hands or our little club feet, <laughs> whatever you call them. And then we're going to go down for the body and then out and out and then out and out and then connect it. Okay. If you need to pause at any time, feel free. Let's move down to this one. This one's going to have one arm going up, one arm going down. So we're going to do the same thing like we did here. Up, up. And then this one's going to have an arm going down like this one. Okay. Then we're going to do body. We're going to have our legs going out like this one.
And then our last one, um, we're going to have arms going up is the way I have this one. Remember, you can change it if you want. If you have a different idea, go for it. I'm going to go to go down here. Okay. And then this one, we're going to kind of curve it. We're going to go up. We're going to go down. Okay. And then this one, we're going to go out. This one's kind of tricky because you have to kind of connect it there. Okay. And if you want to do it and make it a little less, you can kind of like that. Okay. Next step, outline with a black marker. If you wanted to take your time and stop and do some surgery on each one, you could totally do that. Surgery means fixing it, making it just a little bit better. Almost done. Oop, that one I kind of messed up on, so I am going to erase the pencil marks so I can't see them. Get rid of them. Almost done. So now the fun part comes. Now you are going to have a chance to color each section using complementary colors. Let me show you a few examples of some that I have done. So on this one, I did orange and blue. Okay, complementary colors are the pairs, remember. And if you need to grab your color wheel from last week, you can totally do that. And if you just take your pencil and lay it flat, straight, you'll see like red and green are complementary and um, yellow and purple are complementary, orange and blue. If you wanted to go really tricky, you could go with the, the intermediate or the tertiary colors and do those ones complementary. So you can kind of play around with it, but make sure they are opposites on your color wheel. And, um, if the next, um, sorry, that's for the older kids. For the younger kids, you might use this one um, and do the opposites this way. You might just want to stick to the basic ones where those, those colors, those basic colors. And so on this one, I did the orange and blue. And let's see, on this guy here, I did the red and green, which are complementary. And you notice I added the little lines to show movement. If you wanted to do that, you could also add that in. On this guy, I did the purple and yellow. Kind of looks like blue, but it is purple. And then I had an extra square left, and I actually went kind of crazy here. Inside, I did the complementaries of, um, I did these colors here, I did prime, the secondary colors, and then I did their opposites on the outside. I did the, um, the primary colors. So I did primary and secondary. So on this one, you could kind of mix it up a bit, do it the way that you want it to be. Um, but ultimately, I want you to be playing around with complementary colors. And if you are doing it correctly, you will notice um, when you have complementary colors next to one another, they kind of pop off of your paper and it shows a good contrast. They go well together. So um, have some fun and go ahead and start up on your complementary colors. Mix it up a bit if you want on where you put them. Um, but just note each section needs complementary colors, one inside and then the complementary on the outer part. Uh, I can't wait to see what they look like on Flipgrid.
comfort at complementary colors. You can see my family's right up here. They are opposites on the color wheel, and you have created a masterpiece of complementary colors artwork. Please, please, please don't forget to go onto my Flipgrid and leave a video for me, boys and girls, so that I can see what you guys are creating, because that's my highlight of my videos, to see you on camera, and I hope you can also understand and see that I am sharing those videos back with you. So check your little feedback area, click on it, and hopefully there'll be a video from me um, giving you some good feedback on what I loved about your artwork. So, and I leave you with, life is always better with